In this clip I will look at solving inequalities where on the left hand side now we have a rational function and on the right hand side we have a constant, not necessarily equal to zero. Well, consider the following example. Find all x's in R such that x plus 1 times x minus 2 divided by divided by x minus 1 times x plus 2 is larger than 1. So we have as a numerator quadratic function, denominator is, is a quadratic function, and we try to solve this inequality, strict inequality. Well, as a solution, we proceed as follows. We bring the 1 on the right hand side to the left. So as a solution, So we just repeat the function on the left hand side, function in x, and we subtract 1 and compare it now with the 0 on the right hand side. Well this is equivalent with the following, repeat the function on the left hand side and write 1 as x minus 1 times x plus 2 divided by x minus 1 x plus 2. Yeah, so x minus 1 times x plus 2 divided by x minus 1, x plus 2. The reason why we do this is that we now may write it as a fraction. And we get a rational function on the left hand side and compare it with 0. And we may proceed in the same way as is in the former clip. So now we get x plus 1 times x minus 2 minus x minus 1 times x plus 2 divided by the denominator x minus 1 x plus 2 and compare it with 0. Well something beautiful goes on in the numerator since there's some terms cancelling if we just write out these terms like, like so x squared minus x minus 2 minus x squared plus x minus 2 and we divide it by x minus 1 times x plus 2 and compare it with the 0 like so now then we see that actually the two quadratic terms cancel yeah in the numerator we see that x squared and we subtract minus uh, we subtract x squared and we have minus 2 minus minus 2 so actually the minus 2 cancels against minus minus 2 so the thing that is remaining as a numerator is minus 2 times x yeah, so we write minus 2 times x divided by x minus 1 times x plus 2 yeah we might, may write it equivalently by dividing and uh, leaving out the minus sign on the left hand side then we get 2x divided by x minus 1 x plus 2 should be smaller than 0. Now we proceed in the same way as before by putting up a sign scheme for numerator denominator and the fraction as a whole re as a result of that. So for the numerator we see that numerator cancels at x equals 0 yeah, so the numerator cancels at 0, so put a straight line at the 0. And on the left hand side we see a minus sign, on the right hand side we see a positive sign. The denominator, like before, cancels at minus 1, a dashed line since, uh, or minus 2. The dashed line indicates that this, this can never be a solution since the fraction does not exist for those values minus 2 and 1. And we get the signs plus minus plus over there. And so we get as a fraction the following sign scheme. We get a 0 at 0. Yeah, we get a 0 at 0. The fraction does not exist at minus 2 and 1. Dash lines over there. And on the right hand side of 1, we divide something positive by something positive, so we get a positive sign. And 
by jumping over 1, we get minus plus minus. Yeah? So alternating series of minus and pluses. So we are concerned with negative values of the fraction. So we look at things that are smaller than minus 2 and on the interval 0, 1 we also find eligible candidates for x. Now d0 is excluded since we're looking at strictly smaller than 0. So as a final solution we find x is in the interval minus infinity minus 2, minus 2 excluded, union open interval 0, 1.